I'm going to make a chimney extension for my smoker today. So I'm going to start by cutting some sheet metal to the appropriate length and width to roll a circle, a tube that will fit over a three inch piece of pipe. Six and a half from that first mark. Okay, now we're going to figure out how long of a piece of sheet metal I need. I've had this thing since around 1984. It still works. Pi D is C, and then we need to add three quarters of an inch onto that. So the diameter of the pipe is three. Three times inverse pi equals 9.42477961. So for our applied OCD project here, we're only going to round it to three places. That should be accurate enough. So now I'm going to add three quarters of an inch, 0.75 equals 10.174. That's pretty close to 187, which is three sixteenths. So I'm just going to make the length of that sheet metal 10 and 3 16 and then that should give me enough overlap and then be able to put in a couple of pop rivets to hold it in the form of a tube. What did I say? 10 and 3 16 Six and a half. 10 and 3 16 It's not a very square edge. Why is that? That's better. The smoke will never know. <laughs> there we go. That did the trick right there. Roll that rascal right around that thing. Not too bad. There's your three inch tube. There's the mark for the overlap. And so now I'll go try it out on the smoker and see how it fits. It needs a little massage here and there, but I'd say that's, that's not too bad. Not bad at all. So now we'll go take it up to the house. I'll take my drill with me and I'll clamp this around the smoke pipe and then I'll drill those two holes in there for a couple of pop rivets and we'll be ready to go. A couple of the modifications I've made so far is this perforated metal tray here that keeps the coals from falling through this then I made that little pan back there that fits on top of the perforated metal grate. And then what that does is that helps to deflect the heat from the, from the wood that's burning here. It's that pan, and then it's forced to go up this way into the cooking area. So you can see I just have a couple of flat grates that go all the way across there to the very end. And then when you open the lid, there's the smoke outlet. 
but they say that you should have what they call great level smoke. From what I understand, what I'm going to do is I made a little sheet metal piece to fit on here. It goes all the way down to the grate. That way, the smoke can billow up in here, and then it has to go down, and then it exits up through the grate and then out the stack. So I made a little piece of sheet metal, a little rolled up tube. I thought that I I thought I only had so much room, but I've got a lot of room back there. I could have made I could have made my sheet metal a lot longer as it stands. I only made it six and a half inches from here down to here. We'll see how it works. It's not a big deal. If it doesn't if it doesn't stay on, I can make a longer one that'll give it more engagement further up here. I took some sandpaper and I got all the creosote off of that so it's ready to apply the smoke pipe extension here in just a second. Not pretty good. Not, not too bad at all. Even lines up halfway decent right there. So I'll get my drill motor and we'll pop those two holes in there like that for the pop rivets. And then I will take it back out to the shop, put in a couple pop rivets, and then we'll slide that bad boy back up on there. So there you can see. It's now it's it's too high above the grate right now. I'll I'll bring it down once I get it riveted together. And then we'll have great level smoke evacuation. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. I don't even think I'm going to need a hose clamp on that. That fits on there really nice and snug. Oh, yeah. Look at that, right down to the grate, right there. That is perfect. I love it, absolutely love it. That's gonna be sweet. That gives you a little idea what that pan looks like. Just something like that that I welded together out of some scrap metal that was laying around someplace. So the fire will burn right in here. The heat will come over and hit this edge down here, and then the smoke will come up and go over here, down through the grate, up and out stack, which I've been told should be open all the time. Wide open here, and with this butterfly right here, wide open as well and then you regulate the amount of heat with how much fuel you put in here. So I've got this tell true thermometer that I put on here. Originally this did not even have a thermometer on it. It just had a, a push penny from electrical knockout in that hole right there. So I bought this thermometer and it's just held with a, with a wing nut and it just senses the temperature inside the cooking chamber. So what I want to do as I progress in my smoke journey, I want to get a remote reading thermometer here with some probes so that I can not only check the internal temperature of the smoke chamber here, but I can stick a probe into the meat. And maybe if I'm operating in a manner where I cook several pieces, let's say I'm going to cook three racks of ribs. Well, the thermometer that I'm looking at has four different probes. So you can have one in the chamber and three in the meat, and it'll read out right to your phone. It's a journey, and I just thought I would share this little bit of it with you to see what's going to happen. One of the other items that I got for my smoking adventure is one of these serpentine smoke trays. Uh, it's for cold smoking, so you would load this up with pellets here and here all the way across. And then there's a hole in each end where you can light the pellets. So you fill this all the way up to the top, heap it over or however you want to do it, and then you light one end and then it supposedly takes Yes, they, they claim that this will give you eight hours of cold smoke. So for doing bacon or whatever like that, 
you would use this tray and then that way the bacon doesn't get cooked while you're trying to smoke it. It's cold smoked. And you can do cheese this way and I guess there's some other things. I haven't gotten that deep into it yet. Just trying to build things up a little bit as I go. I don't want to spend a boat ton of money on this stuff and I know that it can be done for a lot less than a significant outlay of cash. I mean, people smoke turkeys and stuff in a cardboard box, for crying out loud. If they can do it in a cardboard box, then I can certainly take this to the next level and make it into something that really works well.